Hey guys, Dale here, and today I'm going to show you guys the first place YCS Seattle deck Zectors by Michael J. Stevens. First off, we got two Tar Troopers, two Tar Tardies, and one Dark Arm, and then three Zector on it, more of it. Triple Centipede, one Dragonfly, one Gigamantis, one Hornet, Triple Ladybug. That's the and that's the exact lineup. Uh, the car troopers are in there to try to mill his either hornets or ladybugs into the grave. Or try to set up calls plays, obviously. Card card D, because the deck doesn't have a lot of good turn one plays anymore without Hopper being able to work. Which is kind of one of the problems the deck currently has. So he just, I think he put card card D in there to give him one of those plays. Uh, Spirit Reaper does the same thing, so does Tour Guide, which is why pretty much why they're in there, obviously. They give him those turn one plays that he'd otherwise need. Um, Dark Arm's kind of obvious in there because. Without Dark Run, the deck doesn't really have a boss monster, and the deck has good grave control. So, his monster lineup is pretty obvious. Uh, the only thing I question is why there's no Night Assailant, the but that I would play Night Assailant, but he, I guess it doesn't really matter if he does or not. Then we got uh, one Dark Hole, one Foolish Burial, that obviously put that Hornet or Ladybug and Grave, whichever he needs at the time. Uh, one Lance, one Heavy, two is that Calibers, one Monster Born, triple MST, and double Duality. Obviously for the consistency, because back row is a problem for this deck. Uh, these Zek Calibers are just trying to part of the exact lineup, obviously. You got your main, you got these three, which are the main cards. And a Lance protect, kind of probably protect his Dragonfly and stuff, help him over things. You got Triple Call to Haunted, kind of staple now, it's pretty obviously. Pulse is very good this format, which is why, obviously why it's in here. And then two Warnings, kind of staples here. And the really weird thing I saw that I know a lot of people have been talking about was a Threatening War over safe zones. Um, to be honest, I kind of agree with this, because your opponent next to did hit it, and it doesn't really, you don't really care, because you have card cardy and you set one of these, because you know you're safe unless they like have Night Beam or something. Which is always nice to have with this deck, so that's pretty much a lot of this is kind of obvious, but with a couple texts here, that's probably the reason he's won. Next we got uh, Double Raikou, there's a uh, side deck, Double Raikou, Double Maxi. These are all pretty obvious, so you should know why they're in there. Raiko, Sigurita, some other difficult stuff to for the deck, um, help mill. Uh, Max Caesar, obviously, for that wind-up matchup and the Mermail matchup, and yeah. Uh, system Downs for the Deirdia matchup, and the Machina, whatever, all those matchups. Soul Drains for uh, pretty much every other matchup this deck has, like, from pretty much all the other matchup. Mermails, Dark Robe, this is the main two that I didn't think of that would be hurt by this. I think I got two Torrential. I don't know, this is probably just to like stop those big pushes, probably for wind up and stuff. Goes in, wind ups pretty much is what I would look after this, because no mail doesn't hurt. Um, maybe Sam's? No, Sam's. I don't know. Sam's a little bit, not really. Because I can't make Sheehan then, but. Then you got two row of the trees, probably for a chain bird match up there, somewhere along those lines. The extra deck we got Adrius, it's pretty, all, it's pretty much all standard. The only thing I think is kind of weird that I looked at. Was the Crimson Shadow on Ninja? I don't really see anyone play this guy. Although there's not a lot of good rank 5 to play, but this is kind of one of the weirder ones I saw. Uh, so he got the Gachi in there because he is playing both of these. He's side decking both of these, and he's main decking Triple Ladybug. Uh, Levier, obvious. Maestro, pretty, obvi pretty obvious. Probably one of the better rank 4s, pretty easy to make. Wonder to Brilliant, obvious. This is all pretty much standard stuff that's in here. And double Zen mains is a little bit different. I think for the most part, it's a pretty sol solid deck. He played it right. The first Insector YCS top ever. It's kind of weird because they're supposed to be bad this format. Um, but uh, Stad did a good job of playing the deck. He knew what he was doing and respect to him. So remember to subscribe, check out my channel. See you guys later.